FOMO to me is like fear of missing out on events, nights out, something your friends are doing. I said that was one of my biggest FOMO moments was having to turn down a ticket and then also later on seeing all of their pictures and how much fun they had and then hearing the stories afterwards. FOMO. FOMO. No, I don't. I don't. I don't believe in FOMO. I think for me it's more. It's, it's DOMO. I'm fucking terrified. I, I'm terrified. I'm constantly unhappy because of FOMO. It's a, it's a real problem. Yeah, it's a real problem for me. Yeah. What we have found is that marketers are also capitalizing on FOMO and the greater importance of FOMO as an influence in uh, you know, consumer decisions. I do, I do feel abused. I feel I'm the, the right target. My friends go, Laura, you're not, going, you're not going on this event on Friday, are you? It's, I, might, I might go. Well, it's in Thailand. Well, I might go, it might be good. Fear of missing out is a natural uh, thing to happen to everyone. I think it becomes a problem when it takes over your life. Don't fear feeling FOMO, but if you are uh, you know, feeling that it's really taking over your life, then you know, the right situation is to try to address it and try to control uh, you know, the situation. They, they feel certain emotions, certain negative emotions, um, and in terms of fear, fear is more an overall sensation. Uh, it's about you, you, you fearing that you know, you're not going to be there to share a good experience with your friends. But in fact, it actually translates in other emotions, uh, such as um, regret, um, jealousy, upset, irritation, boredom, loneliness just to name a few. Uh, do, I, do I consider FOMA a real fear? Uh, yes, I, I, I would. Um, it's something that I think about, so yeah. I wouldn't consider it a real, I don't consider FOMO a real fear. I see those people thinking FOMO is not a real thing. Uh, it's real to me, it feels real. I have like 50 events on Facebook. Um, I'm attending all of them. I'm interested in all of them. There's definitely been occasions where I've gone to uh, events or things that have been going on. I've gone because I felt like I didn't want to miss out because I had the FOMO and then actually it's just been alright, it's been okay. So we also found that actually uh, when people are feeling FOMO they try to um, manage their relationship with social media. So the most um, immediate reaction is trying not to look on Facebook or other uh, you know, social media um, outlets so that they don't heighten the FOMO. But actually a lot of the, the you know a lot of the evidence shows that most times people can't resist looking on social media. I think social media plays a really important role. Um, I know for me, um, recently my work colleagues went on a work trip um, skiing and I was the one who didn't go and obviously they were like posting loads of photos and sending loads of photos on social media and WhatsApp, making us feel like we had missed out. Absolutely. So, uh, social media is, is I suppose, everywhere now and everyone is, is so absorbed in social media, it's hard to escape from it. So if you are feeling FOMO, the first step is to acknowledge that you are feeling FOMO. Like everyone, I also experienced FOMO, uh, but knowing a bit of the psychology behind it, I'm perhaps better equipped to manage it and to recognise that I'm feeling FOMO. And, and take action. I tell you how I deal with this. I don't deal with this. Do you have any permission to be here? No, this is the members' area. It's a private.